From the brand that launched Kingfisher, the king of good times, has now come Queen Fisher, the queen of good times. This new beverage from United Breweries has been launched as more than just beer. It is in fact an initiative to celebrate sisterhood. The packaging embodies inclusivity, featuring silhouettes of diverse women against a purple backdrop, with the iconic bird uplifted and crowned in homage to the queens. This initiative is to not only mark women celebrating beer as a drink of their choice, but is also brewed by women. The campaign also comes with a fresh perspective on the iconic Kingfisher calendar, now reimagined as Queen Fisher's calendar. The calendar shot by Avni Rai showcases stories of sisterhood. I'm joined by Mr. Vikram Behel, CMO of United Breweries Limited. Thank you so much sir, for speaking with CNBC TV 18. I'd like to start by asking if you could tell us about this initiative, Queen Fisher, and the product and what does it entail and where did this idea come from? Super. Thanks for having me here. Uh, Queen Fisher, as an idea, we actually hit upon a couple of years back. Uh, this was kind of an internal initiative we used to do, uh, recognizing our female employees, our female talent. And then last year we said, why don't we make this bigger? Uh, the idea here is to make beer more inclusive. And uh, hence, and this is the start of that journey. Uh, the, the product that we are launching today, Queen Fisher, is an all woman effort designed for women. So right from the formulation development to the campaign development, and then finally to the production, we're going to have female employees behind it. And, uh, you know, we hope uh, that the product will be, you know, really liked by women because it's been designed for them. Uh, and, uh, you know, we expect we are starting uh, with our launch in Goa and then we'll be following it in other parts of the country. So it's for the women, by the women, to the women. Absolutely. Right. Um, if I were to ask you about what is it that's different with Queenfisher because you already have a lot of variants of Kingfisher in the market. So is it similar in taste? Is it the branding that has changed or is the product uh, in by itself also different? Yeah. So two things I want to highlight over here. Of course the brand and the way it looks and feels. So that's the first thing which is uh, very specific for women. Uh, but then the product is also different. Uh, the product tastes amazing. Uh, it's uh, got two, three aspects to it. One is it has this pleasantly low level of bitterness. The second thing is it's got this uh, wonderful, rich hops aroma. And finally, from a taste point of view, it's got this fruity, flavorful profile. So lovely product. Uh, but apart from that, what this will stand for, and it has a purpose behind it, uh, and which is to celebrate and acknowledge the close bonds of friendship that exist among women. And uh, we call this the sisterhood among women, uh, which we want to recognize, acknowledge and respect uh, because we feel that's, the, that's a big driving force behind uh, the success that you see uh, women have and even, you know, against uh, all odds. So it's a combination of both things. It's it's the product itself, and then the purpose behind it. Sure. Um, we're all, this is also a very interesting time for the whole alcohol beverage space because there are new categories being created. Oh, we're seeing gin from India, Indian whiskey, single malts coming along. At at this time, how do you see, especially launch with a new product? How do you plan to sort of sustain? Uh, your uh, momentum that you've been having for the last three consecutive quarters and how do you deal with competition? Okay, let me start with your last point first. I think, I think competition for any category is great. So as you see more action happening in the category, the category becomes more interesting, more vibrant and so on. And of course, as the market leader, it's uh, incumbent upon us to you know, contribute to the growth of the category. Uh, I think initiatives like Queen Fisher, which, you know, appeals to a wider base of consumers, uh, you know, not only helps grow the category, but also, uh, you know, uh, makes the category more exciting and vibrant. So, yeah, we, so we, we're going to have, you know, nonstop action as far as, uh, you know, our, our, our company is concerned. 
and uh, you know we see beer as a category really continuing to grow maybe faster than the rest of the alcohol category right um we're also at a time where the summer season is just upon us how do you see demand shaping up for the upcoming season you know it's it's uh, you know expected to be a pretty hot summer so my guess is and and there is a degree of seasonality so my guess is that uh, the category will continue to see buoyant growth right um we're also seeing a trend across the industry uh, towards premiumization and you also saw rise in premium volume sale uh, volume growth last quarter uh, how do you plan to sustain this momentum and how does it uh, how does the launch of this product sort of come in there sure now you're absolutely right i think premiumization is here to stay in india uh, across categories and we are seeing it in alcohol and we are definitely seeing it in beer as well